This panel brings us to the fourth component of the Hamavir Shena Bracha. Whereas in the previous component we were asking HaKadosh Baruch Hu not to do certain things, Al Tavienu, Al Yishlot, in this component we are asking HaKadosh Baruch Hu please do things for us. Before taking apart this segment, I should like to refer to a comment from the late Rabbi Yochabovitz, quoted in a footnote in the Koran Sidur. The comment from Rabbi Yochabovitz will assist us in placing the requests that are being made in this segment into some context. Rabbi Yochabovitz writes that we are all social beings influenced by our environment. This would be his reading of the Rambam. And assuming this be the case, therefore, we pray to be protected from harmful people, events, and temptations. The tefillah reflects the social fabric of faith. We request from HaKadosh Baruch Hu that v'harchikeinu mi adam ra mechave ra. We also ask that HaKadosh Baruch Hu dabkeinu b'yetzatov u'b'maasim tovim. And finally, we request in this bracha that HaKadosh Baruch Hu should kof et yitzreinu lehishta beidlach. Now for the words, beginning with the verbs, of which there are four, v'harchikeinu, v'dabkeinu, v'chof, and lehishtabed. The sharesh for v'harchikeinu is resh chet kuf, to be far, to be distant, to cause somebody to be distant, to keep someone or something far away, to reject, to remove oneself from a situation, for which to keep far away will be the best fit for the word harchikeinu in this context. And our request from HaKadosh Baruch Hu is to keep us far away from me Adam Ra, a bad person, an evil person, and also keep us away from a Chaver Ra, two prefixes to the noun Chaver. The first is a Vav, and the second is a Mem, from the Vav and is linked to the verb vaharchikenu. Our request is that God keep us away from a bad chaver, a bad companion. Worth exploring is the difference in this request between Adam and chaver, man and a companion. But in general, following on from the viewpoint of the Rambam, that we are influenced by our environment, we therefore make this request that God keep us away from bad influences in our lives. The Koran's translation, keep us far from a bad man and a bad companion. The RCA, distance us from an evil person and an evil companion. The Shoresh Dalad Bet Kuf, to cling, cleave and adhere to paste, to glue together, to overtake, vav prefix and nun suffix us, v'dabkeinu, help us attach ourselves, v'yetze tov, u'b'maasim tovim. In part three we had requested that v'al yishlot banu yetze hara, that the yetze hara should not be given the power to control and rule over us. And here in part four we are doing the flip side of that request. V'dabkeinu b'yetzer tov. Join us, attach us to the polar opposite force of yetzer ra, the yetzer tov. And also v'dabkeinu attach us, guide us perhaps into a life of ma'asim tovim, good deeds. The problem with this request is that it seems that the Yetzer Ra and the Yetzer Tov are forces outside of the individual, the individual being expected to navigate him or herself and embrace the Yetzer Tov and reject the Yetzer Ra, a concept that would need to be somehow aligned with present-day thinking of these two forces, the Yetzer Tov and the Yetzer Ra. Also, what specifically is intended with an attachment to Maasim Tovim. Is it the Tariag Mitzvot? Or is it in today's terminology activities involving Tikkun Olam? The word Yetzer 
generally translates as an inclination, a tendency. Hence the Yetzer Tov and the Yetzer Hara would point to inclinations that an individual might have in one's life. The word Yetzer surfaces in the third line of this component, Vechof et Yitzreinu, so that we have Yetzer Tov and Yetzer Ra with a descriptive. Here we have the word as a standalone, Yitzreinu, our inclination. The verb, v'chof, with a chaf pei pei shoresh, to bend, to curve, to bow down. It also means to force or to compel someone or something. In this context, to bend, curve, to force, to compel, would be the translations of choice. And from the translations, we have that the request is to bend our instincts or subdue our inclinations in order to lehishtabed lach lamad prefix in order to hishtabed with the ayin bet dalad shoresh is to work to labor to cultivate to serve to worship obviously to worship would be the best fit with the translation of to be subservient to you hakadosh baruch Hu. having picked this segment apart from the standpoint of the individual words, we can now work on a free-flowing translation. Distance us from an evil person and an evil companion. Attach us to the Yetzatov and to good deeds. And finally, Bend our instincts to be subservient to you. As with part three, there are issues in terms of the intrusion into free will. Also in this segment, the issue of the Yetzir Tov and Yetzir Ra as being independent entities needs exploration and the distinction between Yetzir Tov and Yitzreinu.